Hello YouTube Tech, you're back with another video. So this video is highly, highly requested, and it is what place did I land to get 3,000 points? So currently, if you don't know, I got 3,000 points, guys, and in total, I think I've only played for about six or seven hours so i am saying that is pretty good for myself but i don't know for other people but for six or seven hours three thousand points i will definitely take that but anyways guys in this video i'm going to be showing you the best place to land for especially high ping users because i know many of you are on console just like i am and many of you don't have a wired connection so this video is perfect for you because this is a customized spot for everyone around that um area with their wi-fi connection and uh, ping and base ping and everything you need to know about it so you probably have seen this landing drop before but it is this bridge in front of the waterfall so i forgot his name i'm sorry guys but he is a eu player and he is very very skilled and he plays on high ping that is why he gets the recognition he gets i'm sorry i forgot his name guys you probably know who i'm talking about but um fortnite pro guides has covered this a lot i've not covered him i probably am and comment down below guys if i should start um going over other things besides just fortnite like youtube tech tips or tech tips or how to hire how to lower ping higher fps or just overall something else besides fortnite because fortnite is kind of bland right now and i need some new video ideas guys so make sure to comment down below if you would like that if i would do that but anyways no, enough chit chat let's get on to the video so anyways um the loot path here i'm just going to describe it as you come here you should get around 100 to 200 rock and stay tuned because you're going to get max um brick at the bottom so as you want to see you want to slowly just go off the little side hill just farm the tree farm the rock take your time if you do not see a guy or any person so just open the chest you might want to place down a floor but it does not matter so you could farm that tree, tree to your left but i just decided to jump down and then the next thing you want to do you want to do this pretty quick guys so you want to open this chest up and you get another big pot so you're probably gonna have half shield or full shield most of the time that you do this guys but anyways after you pop your shield you probably want to pop it in this bush so after you do that there is a campfire here in case you took fall damage so as i as if you didn't if you just jumped off the mountain and you probably took a lot of fall damage so you can probably use this campfire to heal up and then there's another chest here and stay tuned guys because i'm gonna be stay tuned till the end of the video because there's also a different spot on the map so there sometimes is a gun in here i found a pump or attack relatively in this bush many times so as you go into this bush guys i didn't see anything there but as you can see i have around max um brick so you just want to farm this brick here there's a big rock back there by the waterfall which i forgot to mention because this gameplay does not have it um this is the earlier times i've been using this loot path but this is one of the best loot paths you can possibly take in fortnite for high ping users especially low fps for us console players so you just want to farm this brick you just want to get you're probably not going to get a lot of metal so you're going to get a lot of wood and brick so as you're done that it's rare but when it does happen the house over here is not really looted sometimes and there is a guaranteed full shield because if like if you go on this loot path and you have the house and the like four chests there you're guaranteed to have full shield or like a banshee's bazooka or an epic gun so i don't think i get an epic gun this time around when i do this but as you can see guys i'm i've hit around max brick but i just need to focus on my metal now but unfortunately in this gameplay it did not turn out so um i had three chests it's all right guys it, this happens but it's rare when you actually get the three chests it's not too rare but it is rare so as you can see I picked up the bandage bazooka because of course i don't know i just like it a lot but i'm probably gonna fast forward this or skip through it because uh, i just built a little base here i like to do this um another tip i have i don't know if it shows in the gameplay so after you you build up the base um you want to place a triangle at the top and okay I, I i think i will do it yes i think i will let's see if i do it in this gameplay guys i might have to fast forward this um part 
because I don't think I actually do it in this gameplay. But anyways, you camp in the cone and then you hold the edit on it and you can see 360 around you. Uh, not 360, like 180 because you can't really see top and bottom too well. But as you can see, let's go back into this a box and let's... Uh, I'm going to try to do the thing, so you have to jump, them. and I did it perfect first time. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You can see this. And I'm going to skip through the, uh, this boring part until I find a guy. So I'm going to skip through there right now. So as I see here, I get some footsteps around me. So I go down there and try to kill the guy. And it, and it seems like a very bot, uh, like a bot. So I try to jump down, and then I see the guy in there. And then he thinks he's very well doing the stare. So I just made the start a smart IQ play. Went around. I, there, I thought there was a window. I missed all my shots. I'm very sorry, guys. I'm playing Claw in this gameplay. I started playing Claw. So he's a one shot. And I don't really care. So I'm just going to go in and just rush him. Because he's really a one shot. And then I get some nice loot off of this guy. I think he had a scar. Oh, no. I guess not. But anyways, guys. I got some nice loot from him so anyways i just built up base here and then really that is all then i try to rotate this game so i'm gonna skip forward when i'm rotating so as you can see guys i'm trying to rotate out of here the smartest way possible so i think jumping up and down and trying to use the river to the best of my ability would be the smartest move in this scenario but i'm not too sure so i just try to go with the river just making the smartest move I possibly can. So I just try to look around, trying not to get sniped or lasered, and getting the disadvantage. So I try to get some mats on my way because I kind of wasted some building another roof and triangle. But I really need some metal at this point. I see the boat, try to ignore it, and I just try to build a base. As you can see at the top, I'm having very, very bad ping because the Wi Fi was just being a little off that day. So I'm we did the thing again where you can see 180 and now I'm going to skip to the part where I actually came to a fight. I tried to attempt something that I've seen a lot of people do where they edit the thing and try to laser the person. But I unfortunately my shots were very bad. I could have gotten at least 60 damage on him guys. But turns out not. I did get 64. However, he looks like a complete bot. So I have really good confidence at this point. So just try to go full on Russian which is pretty stupid right now. But he seems like a bot and he was guys. He was standing still. Wasn't building. Wasn't doing anything. So he was a complete bot. Very lucky for this because if he accidentally just didn't see me behind him and he turned out to be like a god Fortnite player, which would have been really, really bad for me. But I see all this loot. I'm trying not to waste it. So, um, I, so as you can see, guys, I don't know if it's smart or whatever, but the ping, the ping, the lag, guys. So place down the launch pad. I'm trying to go here. But I don't know if I get sniped or whatever, but, um... So I see this big massive fight and this is where it gets bad guys. I think so. I'm not too sure because this is a long time since I've built it. Um, film this. Oh yeah guys. So I see I see two, three people around here. You might not see them because I saw them in the bush after um, this. So I see the person and I he's not moving or whatever. Yeah, he doesn't he looks like he doesn't want to fight. So I don't think he would mind if I just build my base here or box up here. So I'm gonna skip to the part where I actually fight the guy. So right now, I'm just trying to get into this fight. So I'm trying to third party, try to get some tags, and then it would really help out my health because I would get another siphon, 50 siphon, which would really help me out, which would be very nice. But I just try to get a tag on him. I'm He's at white health. And then I see a guy third partying us to the right. So I try not to go and full on rush him, but I wasted a lot of AR ammo. I had about 300, ended up around 50 after the fight. Not really fighting, but just me spamming him. But I knew he would have to move, so I just decided to leave. I'm pretty sure I just keep on spamming him and spamming him and spamming him and spamming him. If I had a rocket launcher and a heavy sniper, this kid would have been dead, but unfortunately I did not. So I just keep on spamming him, but it does not do any good. I just keep on wasting my AR. He probably blew through, I would, I would say a good... 100 200 300 mats not a lot but if he had max mats it uh, would not really make a dent so i just try to play it smart just back out the storm's coming in any second now we got 30 around around 30 20, 25 seconds so just try to go try to leave this fight i try to go 
the smartest uh, route possible and I um, I figured out that behind this hill was probably the smartest and I could build up on top to it so I have high ground as I rotate in which is very nice which is a very nice thing to have so as I'm building up um, onto this platform um, onto the hill as you'll see guys there's a guy already smarter than me he's already on the hill before I could get there but I just try to avoid him the best to my ability so I just try to leave him let him do his own thing but that ends up by backfiring me in the end so I just try to move away from this fight and try to set up um, my base in mid ground so not too low and not too high guys so as I'm boxing up here, I tried, uh, this was probably very dumb of me, I just got very lucky, no one tried to shoot at me guys, but um, I was building out of wood, which is the worst thing you could do. You would want to build out of brick or whatever, but I'm just trying to get rid of my wood so I could build a brick. Um, which is probably a very dumb thing of me to do. So if you're watching this, I know it's very cringy for you, better endgame fighters, but I don't get into endgame too, too much. So it's a very new thing to me. So, right, right, um, I know this guy doesn't have that many mats. He just chopped down that tree. So I am potentially assuming to fight him. And there's some nice loot under him, which I would very like to have. I would like to trade out the med kit for some bandies, which would be doing me very good because I don't think I would have enough time to pop a med kit. I see this guy. He is going to get um, pushed. I just try to push him. Turns out, not the smartest thing to do. So, um... I just try to push him, and I think I end up getting the kill, but let us see right now. So I just try to push him into my scar with my scar, which is a pretty dumb thing to do. I push him in storm, but he was a complete bot, guys. He clutched. Uh, not not clutched. He choked. He choked, guys. It was, it was I, I don't know why I said clutch, but he choked. So I have so much good loot. But I'm not trying to take any storm damage right now, especially in late game. So try to get the attack, try to get the scar, but... And this game was very affected by my internet and the ping and the base ping and everything and my FPS so all over the place. It was not good, but I ended up playing really well to my standards. So I really liked how I played this game. I really liked the stress that I used, the IQ that I used, everything. I just, I just loved it. This game. So I try to um get some high, not high ground, but some base ground. I'm just try to get in circle right now. And I end up getting lasered by every. I, I end up getting focused, not lasered, focused. So, uh, very dumb of me. They're probably gonna target me more right now because I am building out of wood, which I should not be doing. I should be conserving that for late, for like very late game. I should be building out of solids like brick and uh, metal, but do not end up doing that. Try to get the tree for some more wood. But anyways, I get shot at, which I guess I didn't know at the time. But so they're not really pushing me. They were just trying to um, tag me. And I see this guy. He's not being too aggressive, but he does want to get in my box. So I decided to back up because if we were going to end up fighting, I knew we were going to be focused on by the other two players here. So I see this guy. I try to kill him, but he ends up boxing up. So I really have no chance. Um, I see the guy. I think he's in there. I got the points, and this is where it turns all bad. The rotation, guys. The rotation is very... I don't know how you're really supposed to rotate in these type of conditions, but this is the best that I could do. I don't know how pros do it, guys. Pros. They have, the, like, they have, like, way, like, they have so good of IQ. And this wasn't my wall, which was bad for me. I didn't know that that was not my wall, but I played this to my best of my ability to I could. I could have gotten 20 or 40 more points, but I did not end up getting that. But I really loved how I played this game out and how I used strategies that I did not use before. But that is my best loot path that I know of for high ping players. And I'll see you next time, guys. And peace out. Make sure to keep on grinding Fortnite. Let's go.